Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Lego Lord of the Rings. In the last episode, we started off free play, and now we're ready to continue free play with the next level, the Black Rider. Skip the cutscenes and we'll go ahead and get started here with this level here. <laughs> I like the berserker there, cow cowering in fear there, it's kind of funny. Okay, first thing we gotta do is we gotta pull the strength handle right away. And this is a little finicky, but there is a hole in the ground here. When you fall down, you'll end up in this area. This is kind of the secret area for this level, and there's a bunch of stuff, or there's some stuff here in this area. I think there's like two mini kids here, if I remember correctly. So, uh, one of the mini kids is, has to do with a mole here. Um, and there's a bunch of holes that you, we need to cover in order to get, uh, in order to get the main kid break. If you cover all the all the holes, the mole will have no choice but to go into the center hole, which has the main kid kind of buried in it. So, so there's also main kid right there, just sitting there. So that covers one of the holes right there. And then there's also some fire here we can get with Sam. Cover that hole up. And then I think that's most of the holes. But sometimes it doesn't work. That's the that's the that's the that's the, that hole you can't cover. I have to. I'm just checking around, making sure that all the other holes are covered. I think they are, so we should be we should be good here. So we're gonna go over to the that cave there again and scare the mole away. So there's no choice but to go in the center hole. There he goes. And the main kit's up for grabs. That's all the main kits in this area. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and continue now. Forgot to turn on the extras again. <laughs> so we have our make it detector helping us. With the main kits. Waiting for the black rider is like is not the most fun thing part about this level. Actually I think I thought I almost got caught there at that part, but I didn't. Progress the level just a little bit here. There's a mi the make it there, but we have to get rid of the black rider first. And then we can jump down. But before we get the make it, there's a 
very cleverly hidden treasure item right here in the foreground of this area. We want to go up front here and, and smash that and build a scarecrow there. I will scare this mole away so we can pick up, pick up the, the treasure item there. That's the... That one's probably the, one of the trickier treasure items to get. And then we can grab this make it here. And the second treasure item is actually right here. Uh, believe it or not. It's actually in this cave right here. So we pick that up and it's the soup pot. And for whatever reason Gandalf puts it on his head. That's kind of crazy. So here, we can, here we're just progressing the level. Alright, skip that. Which parties here? We're not going to do the fight with Sar with Saruman uh, right now. I end up doing it, but I actually you actually don't need to do it if you've already gotten the mini kit in the mini kit for the fight with Saruman, and if you've also gotten the mini kit for the end part of the level where the Black Fires are chasing down. There's only one mini kit during that segment, and I showed you how to get in story mode. So. Um, so yeah, so if you already got that, if you're, or if you're wonder, or if you haven't gotten that main kit yet, you will have to do the fight with Saruman. But I end up doing it because I end up messing up here uh, later here. So yeah. So for whatever reason, I missed that main kit right there. There's a main kit item right there, and I missed it. And once you, once you. That pass something up here, you won't have another chance to get. So, I'm already past the mini kit item. And of course, I didn't see it for whatever reason. So, once you climb over this log and jump down, it's the point of no return. You can't go back. So for whatever reason I missed that mini kit, so now um, I'm kind of screwed here, so. But there is this mini kit right here that we can get with the loin. Yeah, and then it showed the Legolas thing up there. That's when I noticed it, but then I saw that I missed one already at some point. And I was like, well, how do I get that? Yep, that's the part where I noticed it. I was like, oh, I can't jump back up there, can I? Sure enough, I can, so. There's nothing I can do. There's no way to get back up there, but trust me, I tried my best to get back up there. Now, with Action Assist equipped, the fishing timer uh, thing does get a little bit, does get a little bit extended as far as I remember. Uh, so it does give you more time to to uh, to mat to press the button to do the fishing uh, mini game. So action assist doesn't really help you so much with the, fish, the fishing game or the fishing thing, but it's there, I guess. I don't know what all else action assist does. So as I scared off the Black Rider again, and I was trying to climb up that ledge, thinking that you, thinking that there was maybe a way to climb up that ledge with the Black Rider gone, but there isn't. So I decided to progress the level for now. <coughs> Pull that down, and that gives you an item to pick up with Aragorn. But uh, are we? You can do this one now, but there's a second one that you have. That you, there's a second item that you have to pick up with Aragorn, and that requires you to advance the Black Rider um, past this next part. So, but I kind of forgot about that. But this first item here gets you this. 
So and then it leads you over here. And then I, I, I accidentally walked into the lower section of the water. You're actually supposed to walk in the upper section. And this, as you can see, it's leading me right past the uh, black rider here. So I was like, well, shoot. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get past him. Because the black rider is gonna see me, so I have to advance it here. So I decided to advance it here and I'll have to get that item here later. Meanwhile, there's a very, there's a make it up here that we can get with Golem. Pretty easy to get. There's also a make it item in that tree there, as you see. Saw there with the Legolas symbol, and again, it really doesn't matter because we missed the one earlier. And there's also a mini kit right there that you can dig up. Uh, so I actually thought that that was the thing you're, that you're supposed to get with Aragorn. And you realize that the thing you get with Aragorn is actually the third treasure item. See, I see, see the dig spots there, but I thought that you had to get with Aragorn. Uh, okay, this is what the, the items are for. And actually, the uh, second item is actually was actually still there. So when I pick up the first one, the footprints don't appear. So but I decided to just walk back here to where the second item was and pick it up. And that spawns the footprints. But I didn't look around good enough for the treasure item. I went for this dig thing because I thought that that's where it was, but it's not. So I ended up changing characters here or something. So I changed to Sam here. And I dig up Mink and I think, okay, that's all I need. But then I, I was like, well, I still miss this. <coughs> I still have this one. Itemless, so I thought, okay, do I have to do the fight with Saruman here in order to get back there? So I decided to do the fight with Saruman. So this is going to be a few minutes, so I'm just going to uh, drink some more Gatorade. I promise I'm not being sponsored. If Gatorade wants to sponsor me, I'd be happy to. <laughs> I'd be happy to work something out. But uh, these videos are actually getting are actually getting uh, are actually getting third-party copyright claim for the music. But um, it only affects that only comes into effect if I have ads on the videos. And since I do not have ads on my videos, because I. Because I, because you know, I don't monetize my videos, uh, it doesn't affect me. So I'm able to upload these episodes for you guys, and you don't have to worry about anything. So, so it's all good. <laughs> I don't have any I don't have any snacks tonight. I just have I just have the I just have the Gatorade here. So that takes care of Saruman. So um, I thought that getting rid of the black rider at the end here would maybe clear things up and give me a chance to go back there, but it doesn't unfortunately. But I thought might as well try. <coughs> See if I can 
Yeah, and I accidentally shot an arrow, and then I accidentally dropped the dang apple. There at the end, so now we have to wait for it to respawn. This game. Oh well. So I will be giving up here in just a minute, in just a few minutes, and when, and I'll, uh, of course, I'll save and exit. So I'll get the stuff I collected, and then what I'll, then I'll, what I did is I just, I just cut back in when I got to where that first main kit I, item is, and I just redid this section. I, I'm not gonna read, I'm not gonna do the fight with Saruman again because you don't need to, or I don't need to. If you didn't get the, like I said, if you didn't get the main kit, uh, for the Black Rider chase thing, yeah, I thought I could reach it from here, but you can't. So yeah, I was trying my darndest to, to get back there, but there's no way to do it once you pass there. So yep, I decided to save and exit. And we'll get some studs. Those studs don't matter to us at this point, though. So yeah, so we almost got them. We get to me. Only got two of the treasure items because I missed the one, like I said. So don't worry. I'm just gonna. I'll cut. Uh, I'll just cut back in where that first main kit item was here. In just a minute. There we are. So here's where the first I item was. There we go. Got that. Now we're ready to go on here with the level. So here's that ledge that we passed by earlier. And I shoot, I make sure to shoot all of the make it items as I see them here. We do have to do that part with Aragorn again in, in order to get that treasure item. We also have to do the fishing again with Golem here. So, I uh, access the item there for Aragorn, but uh, we have to advance the Black Rider like we did earlier. So, we're going to do that here quick. Also another mini item up there. Once you get that first one before that impassable ledge, uh, the rest of them you can get pretty much whenever, you know. I just thought I might as well get them here. And then the last one we can just get right here, and there we go. We got all the things. But we're not done yet, of course, because we missed the treasure item, so we will be hanging back here to get that right now. So we've advanced the Black Rider here. This one's kind of hard to find because it's like it's very close to where the mini kit is, but the game doesn't do the best job of indicating where it is. So where exactly you need to dig with Aragorn when you get to the end of it. But if you keep searching around, you eventually you'll find it. 
So grab the second item here. Make sure we take the upper part of this water here. And it's around, it's very close to the mini kit here. That's what, the game makes you think it's for the mini kits, but it's not. It's very close, it's right here. And there's the third treasure item, the mushroom crown. Very nice, and with that, we got everything, so now let's save to that. Alright, so that's all the meat kits. And that is all of the treasure items for this level. So there we go. Got our two missile bricks. And we are good. And I thought about cutting the episode here, but I decided to add this next part in. I went ahead and recorded a little bit more here. Um, because there's two blacksmith items we need for a level in, for a level upcoming in free play. And there are two blacksmith items that, that we do not currently have. So I decided to get those blacksmith items now. But before we do, we need one more mithril brick. So I thought rather than playing another level in free play, I thought we could just quick get one here in the village of Bree. So we're going to climb the rooftops here with Legolas and... We're going to go for that mithril brick right over there. So it's pretty easy to get to with Legolas. And there we are. So that's seven mithril bricks. Down with that. Yeah, I always grab that purple stud by the prancing pony just out of habit. So now we're going to head to the blacksmith shop and there's two items here that we're going to get. First is the mithril rope. We need this for later. And I figured that since we were getting these items, both of these are for, are used to get red bricks, so I thought might as well just get the red bricks these are attached to as well, since we're getting these items anyway. So, yeah, Legolas doesn't jump on the bellows quite as well, because he, he has the boost to jump, plus he's a tall, taller than Frodo or Sam is. Because I'm usually playing as Frodo for this part. <laughs> so that's the Mithril Rope. Which allows any character to have to use to be able to use the rope. Other than just Sam. You know, Sam comes pretty quick with the rope, but the Mithril Rope works for, for anyway. And there's also the Mithril Shockwave Axe, which we also need for later. And that it allows any character to use Gimli's ability. Um, so we're gonna need that for later as well. We're gonna get that here. Alright, so we got our Mithril Shockwave Axe. Now we can head out here, and so we're going to go ahead and get the two myth the two red bricks that these unlock. Uh, these red bricks aren't that great, but we might as well get them. The first one here is in the Shire. And it's right by Bag End. walk past that again and it's the house right here that's that's blocked by that morgul lock thing so we're going to smash that here quick and we're going to talk to this guy right here that blasted goat of mine keeps breaking loose no matter what i use to tie it up if you forge me some unbreakable mithril rope i'll give you the secret to a smelly source of studs Okay.
Bless me. Thank you. And that is uh, poo studs, and it's exactly what you think it is. If you ride any animal uh, in the game, like goats, horses, sheep, any of the animals, you can make them poop out studs. Yeah. So, um, I'm sure uh, the ten-year-old in me is chuckling. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> There's been some other Lego video games that have the the uh, the uh, the the an the animals uh, where you can make the animals poop out studs. It's kind of, it's kind of silly, but <laughs> it is what it is. It's not. I I I personally have never used it just because I think it's kind of. I I, I personally don't find it funny, but that's just me. I thank you to keep this between us. But I'm keen to explore combat with a dwarven axe. I'll divulge the secrets of surviving the most perilous drop if you forge a mithril shockwave axe for me. So here in Lothorian we have this quest here. And you saw I kind of took a shortcut to get here. I, here, but anyway. Then hang on. This guy will give us fall rescue, which will, which prevents which prevents you from falling. But since we have invincibility, it's not really worth it. But anyway. That's the end of this episode, so until next time, this is Joel Cool 10 signing out.